Hello everyone, last day we have added an image inside our admin side navigation bar and we have added a new column inside our database too. Today we will add the same profile image inside our student side too. So we just need to log in first and we will go to our database. Let's open it localhost php my admin. Then we will go to our library database and inside this we have our student table and here we will log in as from me and then password Okay, now that we have logged in we can now see the name and here in beside this we will add a profile picture so for that we need to first add a new column inside our student table here we will add a new column called pick like we have added in our admin panel to our admin table so here let's go to structure and then add a new column after contact then the name will be pick and it will be character type and we'll give a length 100 then save okay now you can see there is another column here so we will now update this column with a picture name and for that first we need to have the picture inside the student folder we have added that inside our admin folder already you can see that inside the student folder images folder we don't have that picture so let's go to admin panel and there inside the images folder we will copy that image that we want to show and we will paste it inside our student folder inside the images folder okay now this is a jpg file and the name is p so we will add this inside the p column You can get the update query from the SQL and then modify it. Here we just need to modify set the picture and other thing will remain same so we will just update this part update student set pick equal to here we will give the value that we want to set and the name of our image was p.jpg and we will keep them inside a single quotation as this is a character type input and where equal to 1 if we give where equal to 1 all the column will be updated at the same time you see 3 row affected and that's how we change it whenever we want to change an entire column so now here we will go to our student side and here go to registration whenever some new user will register they have to give an input to the pick column too we have not added it yet inside our student side so today I will add it here inside this insert query here you can see we don't have an ID like we had inside our admin side so we don't need to give anything here we just need to modify this at the last place after the contact there we will add another input and this time it will be our image name so it will be automatically set whenever someone register and that's it for our registration page we only need to do that now we need to go to our login page and save this file inside the student folder don't save it anywhere else then you cannot see the change in your student side so now let's go to our student side login and here we need to make our image session variable so that we can use that image anywhere in any page so here after this where we have selected every data from the table of the user who just logged in 
from there we will fetch the value of the picture so let's see what we have done in our admin panel and you can just exactly do the same thing so inside our admin login there after the query you can see that we have fetched the values and keep it inside another variable here after this we have created another variable called dollar sign row and there we have fetched all the values from that query now we will just copy this one and we will paste it inside our student side too you can add it after dollar count variable or before them okay now that we have added it now we can use that variable to use the picture column or picture variable here you can see how we have written so now after this we will just copy this from our admin side and in our student login page we will do the exact same thing after the session variable for username we will just create it like this okay so now we can use this session variable in any page so we will just use it inside our navigation page inside our okay save this inside the student page again and that's it now we can just open our navigation page of our student side So inside the student side open our navigation and we will add it in place of welcome inside the admin side you can see where we have added the image here you can see before the name of the user that logged in we will use their profile image so we need to just copy this part and write it exactly like that here too so here everything is alright every class is same so we just need to modify this part here the before the username we will remove the welcome and just let uh, we'll just leave the space and then username and before this we will echo out our profile image so let's just copy this And paste it before the name okay now everything is all right so we will just go back to this and refresh this page now you can see that we are seeing that image too inside our student site and that's it for today thank you